Good, e good evening to the Brookfield Selectman's meeting of uh, yes. Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. Would you like to rise and join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, like everybody to remain standing, please. Uh, I'd like to have a moment of silence for William Pratt, who who uh, died last. He passed away last week. He was the cemetery commissioner here in town, and Bill was a very humble man, and he did a lot of things for the town of Brookfield. And I just found out recently that he was the one that did all the brickwork on the gazebo for us. And then he was also a Vietnam veteran who was who got the highest value uh, Medal of Valor from the uh, Air Force. So he never let anybody know this. I had just found this out over the weekend from his daughter. So we'll have a moment of silence for him and his family. Thank you. I have, we have some payroll warrants to be ratified. I would like a motion to ratify them. Uh, payroll warrant for 92519 for $1,425.68. 10-8-19 for $168,611.75. 10-1-19 for $174,922.70. for $119,056.88. for $167,935.58. I think you have that motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then we have to, I would like to have um, a motion to acknowledge minutes from uh, committees and departments from the CIPC minutes from September 10, 2019, and Conservation Commission minutes from September 17, 2019. You have a motion to acknowledge? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. We have announcements. A heads up that a parking ban will be in effect from November 15th through April 1st. From the hours of 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., there shall be no parking on any streets. Also, snow or ice removal from driveways, sidewalks, or private property shall not be plowed, shoveled, or blown across any public way, street, or roadway. Trick or treat in the common and village areas would be held from 6 to 7.30 on Thursday, October 31st, immediately followed by a parade from the fire department to the Tom, town common. A costume contest will follow. Does anyone else have any announcement this evening? No. No? Get something on the, on the other, but just briefly. Okay. All righty. The first one we have here is it's a first right of refusal, but it was it was something that was sent to um, this, to uh, us, and then Karen had given it over to uh, um, the assessor. And what it was was somebody um, was buying some property, and um, the lawyer was a lawyer from Boston, and they, the lawyer thought that we had to, that the Sorkman had the first right of refusal because it was under Chapter 61. So why don't I but, just motion to so, pass over? Yeah, so motion to yeah, pass over. Motion to pass over. Because what it, the, all that they have to do is just, you know, refile it in their name because they're not taking it out of Chapter Oh, they're not one. taking it no, out of Chapter No, they're not taking land. it out. Oh, okay. And so the realtor yeah. was confused because she hadn't really dealt so with anything like this before. Yeah, so I'll second yeah. that. Yeah, we'll pass that over. We need to vote to pass over. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, this one is, the, then we have um, some CMRPC invoices. And uh, this one, the invoice will be paid from the Brookfield 2017 Community Block Grant. 
A 15 post row. Motion to sign the invoice. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the total due on this was $1,700. And while we do that, Hayden and Hyde looks great. I was going to mm. say, I went yes, by it over does. the weekend. It was coming along well. Oh, oh this, is, yeah, this is 15 post row, though. Oh, different one. Yeah. And then we also have one from, um, this is the one for Hayden and Hyde, and it will be paid from Brookfield's 2018 Community Block Grant, and a motion to sign this. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the total for this was $4,543.48. And And then there's another one from Hayden and Hyde. And this will also come um, out of the Brookfield block, Community Block Grant. And this one is for $4,875 also. That was for the paving. Hmm? Paving. Paving. Yep. A motion to sign this. A motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, and this is from the CMRPC. It, it was management invoices number seven, eight, and twenty-one. And a motion to sign the a motion to sign the CMRPC Second. invoices. All in favor? Aye. 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 Has to be signed. Up oh, one more. Let me sign it. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I'll keep my fingers in the place. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So I've got these two. Um, yeah, I got my. I got my fingers on slots. No, this one says change order for Hayden and Hyde. Yeah, change order comes, yeah, change order. Yeah, that's number three. Yeah, but is that, yeah, in, this, is that yeah, in this one? I think we signed uh, all of those. Yeah, we signed them all here. Yeah, yeah not, it's not in that pile of stuff. Oh, because this so we one? have POP and the change order together. Yeah, so oh, oh, they're together. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Right. Let's explore that. Okay, and this is a, this is a, a change order from um, what it was a change in the contract I guess for the for the cost the original contract cost was uh, three hundred and eighty four thousand three hundred and seventy three and two cents in the completion by October 31st to hunt thank you Don 2019 and it was just a few changes here on the cost. Mm -hmm. 
and it's still covered by the grant. Yeah, it's still covered all by the grant. And these require just the chairman's signature. I'd like the uh, motion to sign. Motion to sign. Thank, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And the next one is from Piope Construction Invoices. They're doing Hayden and Hyde. And these all get paid also by the, by the block grant. I'd like a motion to sign. Yeah, a motion to sign. Second. Sorry about that. There's three different bills here that need to be signed. The good news is they did a nice job. Mm -hmm. space to do this because they got such a good quote on the original work that was a excellent outcome yes i hope maybe when the time comes <coughs> if we get chapter 90 money for next year we can get them to do central street that's the plan the ryan, ryan wants to come to chat with us at some point on the plan for next year we have money in chapter 90 just how to sp spend it. The next one on here is a retirement. Okay. Dear select board members, I'm retiring from the town of Leicester, effective October 31st, 2019. Due to the retirement laws and being a member of Worcester County Retirement System, I must resign my position as inspector of building in both towns I am currently employed with, effective November 1st, 2019. The law states I must resign my position for a resign from my position for a period of two weeks as I discussed. I will be back to work November 18, 2019. John Zacharitz will be covering for inspections and calling this time. If there are any questions I can be reached at 508-867-8342 anytime. Jeffrey Taylor, CBO, Inspector of Buildings. And he said that he can be uh, appointed again on the agenda of 10 of 11 5. Yep. So, motion to accept the mm -hmm. retirement as stated. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Now we have some wage authorizations, and we can probably vote them all in uh, one time. We have a one for Maureen Morano. For conservation clerk for twelve dollars, we have one for um, from the water department for Joe Kenny. He's a secondary operator 
for $26. <coughs> then we have one from uh, the planning board for Christine Weissman, and hers is for $15 an hour. And then we have one also here from the fire department for Thomas Allen, and that's for $12.61. And then there's also another one here for Maureen Morano. She is going to be a municipal clerk for the tax collector, and that's $14 an hour. And then another one for the um, water department for Jeff Bucamp. He'll be another secondary operator for $26. It's good that we're finding secondary operators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've historically struggled to find secondary operators. That's good that we're finding them. And this is another one. Um, secondary will be Bruce Clark, and that will be $26 an hour. Motion to sign. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I already did this one, so if you want to take this one, let's see. The only one that has to sign this one is Beth. have some uh, special permits here yeah. to use the lakes and I'd like to probably take a motion to sign all of these at one time. Motion to sign them all. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, this one is for uh, 426 2020 South Pond, everybody on South Pond. And this is for 426 2020 on Koi Bog and the requesting group is the ice hole. And this is uh, for 5-2-20-20 at Quaybog Pond. It's the Shootout Series Bass Trail. 5-9-20-20 Quaybog Pond for the Pioneer Valley Bass Anglers. <coughs> and 6-13-20-20 for Quaybog Pond, the Mass Bass Nation. 620 2020 uh, Quaybog Pond Yusa Basin. And another one, 822 2020 on Quaybog Pond for Blackstone Valley Bass Anglers. 614 2020 South Pond Brookfield for the Chicopee Bass Association. 712 2020 Quaybog Pond for the Coventry Bass Anglers. 7 8 2020 South Pond for Aluminum Boat Fishing Series. And 
8-16-2020 Quaybog Pond for the Nesbin Western Mass Kayak Team Trials. And 8-29-2020 Quaybog Pond for the Blackstone Valley Base Masters. Here, back on here the hold. I'm surprised we have any fish left in those bodies of water. No. Now, these are some these are some appointments that we have. Okay, um, dear honorable board of selectmen, please consider this request to be appointed to the cemetery commission to fill the remaining term of William Pratt, who passed away recently. Bill was a very close friend of mine, and I feel he would be pleased if I completed his term. Thank you for your consideration, Gary Lincoln. Motion to set to appoint. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And now, oh, we, now we have another appointment for cemetery commission because with the passing of uh, Ed Foley, and this is for Arthur J. Motion to appoint. All Second. in favor? Aye. Aye. And now we have um, two for the Cultural Council, we should try doing together. Uh, it's for uh, Jessica Clark and Nick Clark, an appointment of the uh, a motion. Mo to motion to appoint. Cultural Council. A second on that? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Because I know they can be sold for so many years. I said, whose spots are they taking on cultural? Because I know the cultural council they can only serve for so many years. Okay. Yeah, and, and I don't. I think they've had empty seats on cultural council for a while. So. True. And now this is to sign the mass cultural council allocation contract for FY20. Yeah, that we do this every year, and um, the amount of the contract is five thousand four hundred dollars. And I would like a motion, motion to sign it. To sign that. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting, I'll finish it because I have to write, print my name and the whole work. So I'm going to keep that one up so I can sign it after. The next one is to sign off Chapter 90 funds for MASDA. Okay. This is the reimbursement from MassDOT, and uh, it was for $183,948. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and this one is to vote to approve the PARC grant. So this comes about from open space. Yeah. And we were, it was suggested to us that we should put forward a grant application for a project to solidify the open space work. What this does is this allows us, or what we've been granted is $115,000, I'm sorry, $119,633.05 to take and make our uh, playground ADA compliant and new. And uh, 
with this the reimbursement is if it's right here but it's like 85 percent 83,743. What Kathy has done is to uh, work with the grant administrators to allow us to move to vote uh, this at the annual town meeting in the spring. So what, what they're asking us to do tonight is to say that we would want to move this thing forward to the annual town meeting. I'd like to make a motion to sign this grant. And you have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Kathy's done so, a lot so of good she, work. So she managed to coordinate oh, yeah, with them. Yeah, she was to able to do that. Wish it to yeah. move it to the spring. Yep. Great. Yep. And a new playground in the next fiscal year. That's great. A positive vote. To be just yeah. a single signature. This is the important document. Yeah. Right. And that, in essence, says in good faith we'll put it on the next town meeting yep. more yeah. to, in order to yeah. properly fund it. So. Hmm. And I'm sure we've got a question in the audience. We have Mr. Cleveland, yes? From chat tonight, is this going to be the last payment on the whole or the Amazon? Like 63000 bucks. We didn't, that's. None of these have anything no, to do with this. No, we weren't allocating any no. money. We were accepting it from the state. Oh, sorry. And this was for the playground equipment that's um, for ADA. Yeah, I think he was back a vote, and uh, that's that was Hayden Hyde, Hayden and Hyde work. Yeah, we're just acknowledging receipt of the notice of what we had for Chapter Ninety. I want to congratulate Kathy for all the hard work That's that she's amazing. done on these grants. Yeah, between she and Ian. I second that because that was a major consideration for trying to get that in the She did a negotiation. Yeah. Nice job. All right. Anything under other? You had something you said? I have something under other. Uh, so uh, last Thursday evening, we met with CMRPC on uh, senior housing needs mm -hmm. within within the uh, Brookfield Brookfields, mm -hmm. and uh, I had provided some information. I think I've shared it with you yes. as far as the growth in the over 65 mm -hmm. population within the town, and where we have a number of uh, elderly living alone, and, and how do we solve these uh, housing kinds of issues. Um, if anything, CMRPC's data, and they'll finish up their work by December as far as the, the demographics, but our, our demographics are the region's demographics, mm -hmm. and we do, in fact, have, have a have an issue. <laughs> what came out of the meeting was, was kind of interesting, and it's the use of accessory housing is probably the quickest and fastest and, and most economic way to achieve how, uh, elderly housing. Um, Again, Sharon, do you want to share with you what you just received now, in the is mail? What accessory house? Uh, an uh, in-law. Oh, in-law. In -law. Oh, okay. Oh. So the number the, the number one way to get quick housing would be to, in fact, to uh, reconstruct um, existing buildings. And Sharon received something in the mail today, and it's just right down this alley. Um, Mr. Snyder has shared with me the, um, the uh, a summary of the meeting that he went to, and I gave him the uh, information from the current zoning bylaws about accessory apartments, and the accessory apartment bylaw is rather sparse. Um, Mr. Snyder has shared with me a prototype based on West Brookfield's accessory apartment, which is more comprehensive, more specific, and I think um, would be a good way to build on perhaps a, um, 
a modified bylaw for Brookfield, which would help to not only um, work toward the goal he has mentioned, but also to um, kind of make a little more specific and a little more, a little less ambiguous the accessory housing bylaw we have now. Additionally, we also have a, a bylaw in the use regulation table for converting a one family house to a two, three, or four family house. And I've discovered there's some confusion between the definition of an accessory apartment and a modified one family into a multi family. So we could effectively, working with the information Mr. Snyder has given, and Mr. Snyder himself, if he's willing to work with the planning board, um, to improve what we have now for bylaws that would not only make it um, clearer to any potential applicant what the town expects of them, but also make it easier for them to convert mm -hmm. properties so that um, elderly um, family members can continue to live with their families should the house um, in question be suitable for conversion to an accessory apartment. In addition, uh, I just received in the mail today in our mailbox a notice from the Community Economic Development Assistance Corporation. Um, it's from Susan Gillum, the project manager, and the program in question is the Home Modification Loan Program. This will be posted out in the hallway here at the town hall, but let me see if I can summarize it quickly. It's a program that's been in existence since 2000. It's a loan program that will enable um, households to fund projects like accessory units, Home security features, fencing, ramps, wheelchair and stair lifts, so it will, it will uh, address the ADA compliance uh, for these units. Widened doorways, bathroom and kitchen modifications and more. And the loans that are offered are up to $50,000 depending on household income. Um, there's also, there's, uh, there are no monthly payments, uh, repayment of the loan required only when the property is sold or when the property's title or deed is changed. And HMLP off also offers loans up to 30000 to owners of manufactured or mobile homes, which is important because manufactured and mobile homes are effectively the only affordable housing we currently have here in Brookfield. And uh, this would be a big boon to the people living in those units. Um, landlords with identified tenants needing accessible adaptations and who have buildings with fewer than 10 units can also qualify for a 3% loan. So this will be posted in the hallway here at Town Hall. There is a handy coupon you can tear off and send in to ask for more information. There is also a number you can call, and um, there is a website listed on this paper. So lots of information coming in, lots of um, uh, projects in the works, I guess. Right. And if there's anything um, you need me to add from a planning board standpoint, I'd be happy to do that. No, I, I think what we learned is this is the first and fastest way to do to improve housing inventory. Mm -hmm. The second is in the area of the mobile homes and the mobile home parks. There may be some uh, regulations that need to be improved to, in fact, foster that kind of living. Mm -hmm. And then the last uh, area is to, to find someone who, who would actually want to develop some housing. And again, we'll, we'll continue down the path oh, to okay. understand what, 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 what we can do. And if I can briefly go over the process, if the Planning Board decides to go ahead with this, um, and I am going to propose it at our November meeting, um, we would follow the same process we did for solar and marijuana bylaws. We would, um, we would write some drafts and go over them and solicit public opinion and hold the required public hearing and probably listening sessions. And we would make an effort to invite um, the elderly in this community because they would be the ones who would benefit most from this, I would think. And then any bylaw we develop, provided that we can um, come up with something in time, would be proposed at the next annual town meeting for a vote. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for all the work you've done. Thank you, Sharon. Could, could we also get that website posted either off the main page for the town or perhaps off the planning board page for that loan program? Yes. Thank you. Don, were you here for something this evening? Yes. Thank you. I had requested to be on the agenda to um, talk about the Town Hall Improvement Committee. And we would, we felt that we had made some pretty significant contributions to the Town Hall. Mm -hmm. And we thought it might be appropriate to have a, a little open house. Uh, so we were thinking about uh, Thursday, November 7th. 
and what we would do is just uh, have pizza and uh, soda and it would be from 12 to 1 and everybody would be welcome. The problem is without uh, uh, Appleseed and their publication, although it would be too, too short a notice, I don't know how to get the word out. Uh, I don't know if we can put it on well, the website. We well, well November 7th, we could probably still get it in the Quaybog. Quaybog. Quaybog yeah, sure. and yeah. uh, Spencer New Leader. We could I, do like a little probably press could, release. We could probably even put something in uh, the New Leader because I don't. Their their deadlines are on Monday. Yeah. So yeah. we could we Kevin could get it in. If we got if we send it into them this week, it could probably be in both of them. We could yeah. do just a little, like a you little know, blurb. little fifty to two hundred word write up yeah. of, as like a little press release. Okay. But yeah. Lindsay would probably put it on yeah. the community yeah. Facebook. Brian yeah. Show would put it on the uh, Brookfield Town Facebook. Okay. That would be a big I think. Can somebody do that? I don't. Uh, yeah. I okay. Can, I can ask. I can reach out to either of them. Both of them would have them. Great. That would be awesome. Right. So it would be in this room from okay. uh, 12 to 1 or thereabouts. And, okay. and just for the... I need some more details. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to okay. say yeah. details. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay. And, and well, you can email them. Okay. That's right. We have a newspaper person right here that could write up yeah. a nice little article. Yeah, I can do a website. Karen? I'll send it to my editor friends. We'll see if they remember me. Maybe they'll put it in for you. And, well, I know that... Um, Eileen, uh, wants. Eileen wants stuff from yeah. us. So. Yeah, so, yeah. Eileen will do it. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I have to say the improvement so far, it, it really looks nice. Well, What's you know, when on? you think about, I mean, we've troubleshot the heating system. Yeah. We've uh, troubleshot some plumbing mm -hmm. issues. We've moved a couple of offices. We've created a uh, um, couple of new facilities. Yeah, and nice. we're still working on the chairlift. And so we felt that we've made some pretty significant uh, improvements, and we just thought it might be appropriate to share, you know. share it with the community. Yes. Yes. And then um, next door, uh, Mike has, they've taken down all the wallpaper next door, uh -huh. and they're going to get it ready, and I guess we're going to have the uh, prisoners from the jail come up. And awesome. They're, and they're going to paint, and then I think... I know he was concerned about... Um, the wallpaper and some oh, environmental yeah. Something, issues. Yeah, something came in, I guess, from uh, from Boston about different issues, like they really take the rugs up off the floor, too, because they said that can be causing some uh, mold and mildew down there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how, if we can just paint, have to see the condition of the floors, if it can be painted or if it has to be refinished. But that's going to look nice, too, also, Good. when it's finished. Okay, I just wanted... Yeah. To run that by you and ask for permission. That's a quick question from a yes. timing perspective. I, I mean, 12 to 1 is good for folks perhaps that are in town at that time. Would it be worth doing a Wednesday evening sometime when the town hall's already open? Uh, we could we could do that, uh, possibly. Uh, what, run another session, you said? Well, I, I mean, I know it sounds silly, but a lot of folks aren't in town during the day quite frankly so it just it would seem like it, if you really wanted to kind of get get the community in it might be good to try it for an evening um, sure I think that would be that would be something that would be doable if you have a date in mind November 5th <laughs> well, or, the si or the 6th actually <laughs> would be the Wednesday <laughs> before the 7th oh I'm What's sorry. That? Ah, okay so maybe the so the 13th would be the so what you'd want to do a second night or, or do or do it in the evening. Or do it in, in an evening. Yeah. Oh, instead of doing it during the day. Yeah, yeah. I I, I mean that would be my recommendation, just because I know it's it's hard for some folks to come during during the daytime hours. I would do it relatively early. Uh, right, like six, right. six, 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 six o'clock or yeah. five to seven five or something to, yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Five to six, yeah, something like that. Yeah, just so that when people are swimming so that would be into town, they that would be it. the thirteenth. Yeah, that would be the the. Let's why, check and see if there's any other board meetings on Wednesday. Would, why wouldn't we? Because the first the the first Wednesday is no this planning Thursday, board. November seventh. Why wouldn't we do it the same day? Or you could do it the evening. In the evening. Sure. I was just thinking the town hall's already open on Wednesdays, but um, you know, at, actually Thursday would be fine. And actually, then you're not interrupting with people actually doing town business, yeah. so it's probably better to do it on that Thursday. All right. So we'll do. Um, that the same date, 
the yeah. the seventh. Yeah. The five, seventh yeah. five to seven. Five, five to seven. seven. That'd be great. Good. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You can just send me an email, okay, Don? Yes. Okay. Unless we have we have anybody else under other with something short. Mr. Gillis, would you like to come up? Um, yeah. As you know, from my students have been meeting with the town account on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to review a couple of the updates that we've had, and it's going to turn it over to Tom. Well, we're not going to get into this too deep because we're having the executive board, and we're, we're meeting next, uh, the 5th of November, we're meeting with the town accountant. She's coming in and giving us a report on the finances and then afterwards there's an executive board session. So we're not getting into this whole deep on all of this. There's no long discussion. It's, I just want it short and simple. Well, yeah. all the time speak. Yeah. We have some concerns about the schedule and of the town meeting major commitments to the state and to the- Tom, could you come up? Yeah. Tom, why don't you come up? I'd love to, camera's on. Yeah. Specifically, we just want to express some concern over the town making uh, certain important deadlines. Um, we're thinking of specifically, we are far behind on the Schedule A for well, fiscal can, year 2018. I can answer that for you afterwards. I'm sorry? I can answer that for you when you're finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we are also concerned about making sure that the, sched that the tax recapitulation is able to be done on time. And then following on from that, obviously, the fiscal year 19 schedule A will have to be done, um, yeah. less important than the others. And from our conversation with members of the financial team, we are concerned that these may not be done on time. And the, specifically, the question I have to ask, I have for you is, what are our target dates for getting these done? Well, well I, I mean, well, what? Yeah, I, I, again, we, we have a meeting established yeah, a for meeting November 5th on, on yeah. uh -huh. with, with Lori and, and representatives <laughs> of the Treasury. And, and the idea was, and what we were given to believe, was that November 5th was an appropriate day okay. to, to begin the discussion as to the deliverables and that certain deliverables would be done by the November 5th date. And then following on with that, the 19 stuff was to be done by the end of December, and then we were looking at an audit, audit early in next year, in 2020. And so again, what we looked to, ne to the, this November 5th meeting was to in fact have both accounting and treasury here to say that those, those milestones and the sub milestones mm -hmm. within them can be met. Okay. If, they, if so, they can't be met, and then, then uh, we need yeah. to know. And then I would like, I talked to the town accountant this morning about mm -hmm. some of these dates and she said that her boss, Eric Kershev, is he's in he's in constant contact with Mary Jane Handy, who is the director of the Department of Revenue, mm -hmm. and she knows that Brookfield is behind. And she said, when things come in, they come in. Mm -hmm. So she's fully aware of this. I am concerned that you cannot tell me what the target date for getting those things done is. I understand. Yeah, we're going to talk about, we're going to have all the people in and we're going to have a discussion of schedule on November 5th. Why don't we have a target date now? Because, That's our, my question. because our commitment was November 5th, Tom. No, November no, no, 5th. I'm sorry, let's, let's back up. We are managing the finances, uh, I'm sorry, you are in charge of managing the finances of the town through the professional staff. And I understand, so to me, November 5th is a, well, let's check on where we are on our progress and are we making our targets. Well, yeah. What I'm hearing now is I'm hearing we don't have a target date. Well, that's what's that's, that's, well, that's, that's well, not well, I'm not, I'm not, not hearing, you're not telling me what it so, is. So, and that's what I'm trying so to ask the about. last meeting that we had about this mm -hmm. when we had the accountant in here, actually the 2018 goal that had been set at that point was the was end of month October. And so, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's close to being closed. And, and what, uh, well, and, yeah, I, I think there's been some concerns expressed as to whether yeah. we'll make that target or not. But, but, but the target the thing, for, 20, the for the 2018 is, was the end of month October. But see, and, we that's don't for, have, but and that is for the Schedule A to be submitted? Correct. Yes, correct. Okay. And, and she, and it yeah. was originally to be the, like the 21st or 28th, 
and she asked to move to November 5th. We, we accepted at the last meeting that November 5th date. And they have been getting extensions, like I tried to tell you, from the Department of Revenue, the director in Boston, and she's well aware of all the problems that we've had here in Brookfield. I, I understand we're getting extensions, and I'm, I'm glad we are. But as I understand it, we are subject to not the whims, but we are dependent on the good graces and demonstrating continued support to the state DOR in order to, maintain, to keep ourselves in those good graces while we get our fiscal year 2018 Schedule A submitted. And so, and that is to me a big risk and that we, sh I'm, I just don't get the warm fuzzy that we are managing this as well as we should be to get this done on time and get it behind us to work on climbing out of this hole that we find ourselves in. And I'm not going, and I do not want to get into how we found ourselves in the hole. I want to focus on getting out. This is and, what and, we're working on. And again, sure. you've been meeting with the accountant. She shared with you her position on different things. Mm -hmm. We think that she's moving in a constructive mm -hmm. way. The feedback to the chairman is that, in fact, she's moving in a constructive she way. Mm -hmm. And I don't think mm -hmm. it's appropriate this evening, without her present, that we discuss it. You feel it's not appropriate? No, it's not. Uh, that, I, I'm not. I'm not asking to discuss the accountant's performance. I'm not asking to discuss anyone's performance. I'm asking to. Dis I'm asking to understand Definitely. the project plan. That's what I, that's what and I she am shared that with and you. She, and she shared that, and she, uh, she should be here tonight to speak on it, but she's not here. She will be here on the 5th. That's, that was the target date. You're concerned. We, we yeah. get it. Mm -hmm. We get it. We understand. And if I'm, you don't think you're the only one. Yeah, and I, I think mm -hmm. one, one thing I'm, I'm hearing from you in this is that um, – we verbally went over the milestones when the accountant was here the last time. So she talked about some of the discrepancies that they'd, they had identified in Gateway, um, that they needed to validate their, the, the way that the withholdings were, were getting managed, that the, uh, from an accounting perspective, not from an actual funds perspective. Um, but that was where very specifically that we had said that the 2018 the expectation was that that get filed by end of month October. I think part of the concern may be is that we, we don't have, uh, a, there's a feeling that there's not enough visibility on, on how we stand to actually achieving that goal. Because it, it sounds like the message that's getting sent during the weekly meetings between the accountant and advisory doesn't give them a, a comfort level that that end of month October goal is gonna get met. Um, so, I think that's something that we need to understand is if there is a gap, how, how big the gap is. And again, right? if we have to share that, we share that with yeah, you, that, that you're, you're I, representing yeah, this I'm board. Up, and I'm if up Laura, here. Okay, you can, if, if, I'm sorry. If, if, if the accountant is mm -hmm. in a position or the treasurer is in a mm -hmm. position to say that there are things that are unmet goals, right. that if we need to take a further action, that it needs to come before this yes. board. Right. Yeah. So, I am up here every day, Steve, checking on things with, with all the departments on how mm -hmm. this is going. And I know that there was a town accountant, I don't know if she told you, there was problems back even from fiscal 16 and fiscal 17 that mm -hmm. she had mm -hmm. to correct before she could even go further. I've, I've heard of the fiscal year 17 problem. It's 16 and 17. Okay. I hadn't problem. heard about 16. Yeah, yeah. they were the I actually problem. went back and listened to the town meeting yeah. from the, the special in 16 and sent her some notes yeah. about because there was a, some entries that they weren't quite yeah. sure about, and I, I sent her some notes Oh, the about special the 16. from 16? Yeah, I, I did hear yeah. about that. Yeah, there was a I, lot yeah. of different. So, so. There, so, you know, I'm up here. I'm checking with them and asking them all how they're progressing, and mm -hmm. there's nothing else we can really do. I mean, and we have to wait till Laurie is here with us next next uh, two weeks on the fifth, and she will tell us. Or if there's something in the meantime. In the meantime, and uh, and also sure. I have told the Treasury Department, if they need more help to get this done, we'll get them more help. And they have mm -hmm. said no; they're going, they're doing fine themselves. Mm -hmm. And so the Treasury, you represent to us that the Treasury, that you are confident the Treasury Department is going to make 
its time and that we are going to have no, I our can't say I'm confident that they well, will, well, but you, they're, they're trying, they're working on it because every day they're finding something different over there that has to be corrected. Okay. Because and then, it's, it's a lot of work that has not been done over in that Treasury is Department. It, is, it, is it worth seeing what type of third party resources are available to help them out? I, it would be worth it. I could talk to them and see if they would want us to get a third party in, but the because, third party would have to work out well, in another room. Cart before the horse. Yeah. You have to know what the problem yeah, is. We have to know what the problems move. are. I right. mean, picking up the phone yeah. and say, hey, can you help me? is one thing mm -hmm. picking up the phone and saying i need these th several things done mm -hmm. are you do you have those yeah. resources yeah. and again i look to them to come to this yeah. body to say we're okay or we're mm -hmm. not okay knowing that we have certain deadlines that we are supposed yeah. to be meeting yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, and we're, we're going to have an audit early next year yes. and, and we're going to know but, how bad bad is because this isn't we're, we're not even yeah. close to really mm -hmm. understanding the, no. the whole oh, no the, i mean the schedule the schedule a's is it's like it's knocking the, back the fire. It's the tip of the iceberg. Right. Yeah, it's it's not the end. It's and the it's the, the beginning of the end. Yeah. It's, and and right. yesterday, um, I think it was yesterday, over in the department in the treasurer's department, um, they told me today there was an attorney that had called them on something, um, some kind of a check that he had, had come in, I guess, quite a few years ago. And the check was never posted on some property that wasn't paid. And he said if it was not found that day, he was suing the town of Brookfield. So she had to take the time out from her regular work, and she had to look for this because that was a priority that day. Mm -hmm. So see, things come up that happen like this. No, I, you never, I, you I, never I know understand. what's happening because there's such, there's been such a big turnover in that treasury department that a lot of the work hadn't been done. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the specific questions that we may want to ask, because the, the notes I have from the last meeting related to this, is that uh, we may want to find out if they want help getting the 2019 revenues posted, because I think there's so much work occurring in order to get 2018 settled and, and balancing the books from 2019 that um, I, I know one of the things that was specifically called out in the last meeting was the revenue posting. Yeah, it's someone yeah. that can and, be and that might be and something legs. that that sure. might be something that could be yeah. set aside from the rest of it just to make certain that we're not getting any and farther then they're, behind. And then they're and also doing they're also doing the best they can to try to keep up with posting from uh, FY twenty also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so we've got three people in that in that treasurer's office working on. Well, clearing on well, one taking of them, care of 18 and 19 so two that working on those okay. the the other the assistant treasurer does the payroll she okay. takes care of the payroll the deductions and the insurances mm -hmm. that's what her position that's what she does okay so we mm -hmm. have the treasurer and her consultant who is helping her they're the ones that are working on uh, they finished they finished FY18 mm -hmm. and they're few more things that they need the town accountant said and now they started I think today on 19 if, and then they're also like I said they're trying to keep up with FY 20 also okay. so if the assistant treasurer had to go downstairs and look for that check no no it wasn't the assistant treasurer it was the treasurer herself because see the assistant treasurer only works up here a couple of days during the week because she also works for two other departments okay so the assistant treasurer wasn't in that day no she wasn't in that day okay so again, I think yep. we we need to move this discussion yep. to November fifth, yep. or unless Linda is something that no, comes just, up. No, yeah, and, and unless something else comes up, I'll let everybody know what's going on. I'll have Karen will send an email out to everyone, and let if another problem comes up, we'll we'll let you know, okay. keep you informed. I will request that if you receive if uh, information comes up indi indicative of schedule slip and things not being done, for example, the fiscal year. 18 schedule a not being submitted by the end of the month as we discussed if you could uh please have karen inform the uh, advisory board yes, of that and yes, keep us i informed. just said that i would oh I, I apologize for missing that so i think this ends this discussion thank you for coming forward because the rest of it we'll talk about it on the fifth right. you're welcome it was lovely to be here right. thank you thank you, thank you.
All right, next one we'll go on to correspondence. Okay, we have um, a memo here from um, Deb Boyd from Tantasca Regional. She's on, would like to have, this is on the FY21 school budget liaisons. They would like um, a member of the Board of Selectmen and a member of the Finance or Advisory Committee to be li liaisons to both of the schools. And they're having, uh, they start in, ja in January, and she has a schedule here of all the meetings. I've done the elementary school for two years, so I don't know if either one of you would. I could probably do the elementary school. Yeah, and then we need somebody from uh, the advisory board to do the, to do Tantasqua. Yes. Right, yes, Steve. Off, uh, what, what, what we need. Deb Boyd sent us a memo saying that she needs some school budget liaisons, and oh, we've got yeah, Crystal LeBron, Tony Auburn. All right. No, we need one. She needs one, and we have. And Beth said she'd do the elementary school. Well, I mean, if if somebody from the advisory wants to. Um, We've had participate on huh? well that's fine well, we I mean if they want if they wanted if they want to attend the elementary as well I can I don't I can share so that way they can get the information directly if, yeah if you and one of the advisor and then we also need somebody for Tantasqua and I have a whole schedule and if who's ever interested we can I'll have Karen make copies of the schedule and you can have them we and need we need we, to know we've invited, um, Jeff Boyd and um, uh, to our committee meeting on November 14th. Great. Because it's such a high priority. And so we, we've been meeting with committees already, with departments already. So. Okay, so maybe you could tell her at that time who your liaison would be. Correct. And then we'll say that Beth is yeah. liaison for the Board of Selectmen. Okay. Excellent. All right, Karen. That'll work. Yeah, yeah I just need to schedule the, the yeah, meetings. We'll, yeah, we'll. We'll make you a copy. Excellent. Great. Okay, thank you. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, this is from Chatta Communications. Uh, Spectrum TV Silver will increase price from five, uh, $5. It's going up to $97.49. Spectrum TV Gold is going, five, is going up $5, and that will be $117.49. Another one from Charter. On November 15, 2019, they'll launch a new channel called Black News Channel 8D, HD on SPP Tier 1. That's Charter. And then our next one here is, um, is called a Notice of Release of Abatement Measure RAM for 14 Post Road. And that came from CMG. It was, um, they did the search for the waste site, and this was on the Finney property. Oh, yes. No. Yeah. You want to see it? Actually, yeah, I do. I would like to see that. Good. Just got to do the work. Then we'll get a report and figure out what we can do. We don't know what our financial situation is, and we'd have to see if the what money, if the uh, if the highway department had extra money in one of their accounts to be able to take these trees down. Has he started? Yeah, we got oh, they tree have budget. tree money. Yeah, we have. They been taking down trees yet? Yes. Mm. Right. Doing the best they can. Yeah. 
every year we have so much money and they take it down in the summer. Yeah, dead trees. And that falling on the street, the people take it. Dead trees falling on the street. It was a tremendous fall. Madam Chairman, I'm suggesting a motion to adjourn. Yes, a motion to adjourn at uh, 728. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye.